Kuingisha kwenu. 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 Today indeed is a great day in our land. Sure. Mm. Yes. 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 Our warriors have proved to our neighboring kingdoms and others at large that yes, we are indeed still a force to be reckoned with. Yes. As that cause for celebration. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let you agree to all. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Your Majesty. Elilu Kwelu! 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 It is said that a thief that has his father's back end breaks the doors of his victim forcefully. Mm. You're right, you know, we joke. We joke. Yes. <laughs> so long as we have a Lulu as the gods of this kingdom, mm. and King Ieligoba as the king of this kingdom, mm. and Prince Ikenna as the chief warrior mm. of this kingdom, ha. We don't have to expect anything less. Mm. Mm. We got right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hello, Luke, hello. Yeah. Yes. On that note, we have to make sacrifice to Elulu. Just like we did before going to war with Umopi Kingdom. Mm. The gods have made us proud. The gods made us happy. We have to make the gods happy. We do, we got right. Like I said earlier, a sacrifice has to be made to Elulu. Just like we did before going to battle with the Mopi Kingdom. Mm, mm. Afterwards, we will pay homage to our king. <laughs> <laughs> and a huge reward to Prince Ikena and the warriors mm. for their bravery. Mm, what are we alive? We are not we are Yes, we know. You, you have a point there. Our warriors are the best within yes. and they deserve heroic welcome. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> look at it. Look, look at it. Look at your man. Our heroes deserve heroic welcome. So, when men go for war and win, it is women that we announce it. So you knew all along that our warrior were the best. Yet you are afraid of going to war. Yes. You are a coward. Is she a Oh, you like her? Huh? You make you go back up again, you know? Huh? What, 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 what's wrong in me? Thinking about the safety of our, of, 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 of our warriors? Huh? Because you have to be a coward. Ah, Ndishi. We greet you too, Your Majesty. We are here to celebrate. And not to quarrel over nothing. No. Okay. <laughs> our warriors have done us proud. Yes, oh, you are right. And yeah. that is all that matters now. You're right. Yes. My father used to say that when a man desires something, he should be ready to pay the price for that which he desires. Oh, yeah. Igwe Utenna desired death the day he challenged us to a battle. Oh, oh. And so he has paid the ultimate price for his dear life. Yes. Yes. I feel sorry for his family and the kingdom at large. But they should blame it on their late king for being a fool. When the monkey desires to see the face of an hunter, what do you expect? Bullet! <laughs> Bullet on his forehead. <laughs> The head of Igwe Utena will be hung at the borders of Ungo. Mm. This will serve as a deterrent to Obuike and others that may want to challenge us to a fight. Igwe. Yes, Your Majesty. You are very correct. He has to learn from history before he becomes history himself. It is not against saying. It is an established fact that we are a peace-loving people. We do not crave for war. But we will not hesitate to crush any kingdom that dares to challenge us to a fight. Yay! I am Anu Gine 
The man that kills the lion and feeds its carcass to the vultures. Ooh. I am the unbeatable warrior of Umelulu Kingdom. I hear you, my son. I'm more than one bazwelwan. My back can never kiss the earth. You are the true son of your mother. I am the slayer of kings and warriors. <laughs> Nobody crosses my path and lives to tell the story. Oh, don't Who just sits fire it. and throws himself into it? <laughs> Come, my son. Nemo. Come and give your mother. Nemo. A <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would come back on touch. Have I ever returned memed before, mother? Not even the spirit can mend you. <laughs> I am so proud of you, son. Thank the gods for giving you to me. I, I couldn't have asked for a better mother. Thank the gods for giving you to me. Thank you, my son. <laughs> come, come, let's go to my hut. I've prepared so many things for you, and I know you will like them. Hey. I am sure I will. Come, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> my son. Never. My prince, I don't want to leave now. I still want more of you. How dare you? Will you get out of here? Haku! <laughs> Let her spoil your mood. My prince. What? Your father, the king, awaits you. Why haven't you told me this before? I'm sorry, my prince. You asked not to be disturbed. You're very foolish and useless. I'm sorry, my prince. Come with me. You, are, you want those boys? I'm so happy. I knew that Prince Ikena will be a mad victorious again as usual. You talk as if anybody believes otherwise. Prince Ikena is almost like the god of war. Hmm. It seems like someone is beginning to accept the obvious. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm shocked to hear you say something about the prince. And I mean this is the first compliment you have ever paid him. You sound as if I have ever doubted his exceptional ability and skills in battle. Prince Kena is a great warrior, no doubt. But I'm only interested in the tranquility we share each time he goes to war. Everybody most freely, without the fear of his harassment or maltreatment. Has he ever harassed you? Let's say I'm lucky. But that doesn't stop me from working with him whenever he's around. Mm. So you would prefer him being out there in the battlefield every day, yeah? Yes, yeah, so if that be the case, he's so arrogant and full of himself. <laughs> well, as for me, I would rather prefer him around with his ego and handsome face. I'm so much in love with him. Keep dreaming. Until the gods open his eyes to see my burning pleasure for him. And he will devour you like the lion that he is. Oh, that would be my pleasure. Yes, Yoma. Hmm? You seriously have fever? And the prince, the ultimate cure.
ไม่ดีเลยอ้ยDo you know what your offense was? Yes, I looked at you in the face. Please forgive me, my prince. It was a mistake. A mistake. You know I have the mind of killing you here, and nothing will happen. Yes, yes. But please don't kill me. I'm the only child of my mother. Oh, like I care. Well, today is your lucky day. The next time this rubbish repeats itself, I will not hesitate to have you on a platter. I'll take this thing out of here. I keep seeing this ugly madman in my dreams. Why does he keep chasing me around? How do I explain this? What, what's the meaning of this? Oh, no. Your Majesty. You never cease to amaze me. How, how could you do a thing like that? How could you? <laughs> <laughs> but, but that is me. That is me, Your Majesty. Uh, you, 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 you underrate me. Honestly, my king, you underrate me. Have you forgotten the kind of person I used to be? Ever before I became the owner of this kingdom. Yes. And this is me. That same me. Age or position cannot change me. I remain who I am. Yes. <laughs> it is obvious. But I used to think otherwise. Now I know better. Now I know why our fathers say that a woman may appear old in appearance, but not to the dancing steps that she has known over the years. And not at all. <laughs> that is just the way it is. <laughs> that is it. Well, uh, uh, no, now that you're here, I, I, I know the reason you're here. There is no point. Ah! Ah! How are you? I am fine. Not too bad at all. Oh no. I went to your place and uh, your wife told me you went to see Ezedibia concerning the Igwe's state of health. How did it go? Yes. Eche Ihoma, my brother. The same old story. The same old story. SZDB did not say anything. <sighs> but for how long will the gods allow the Igwe to suffer this strange illness without solution? I don't know, my brother. But I know one thing. That there is more to this headache than meets the physical eyes. <sighs> This, this ament gets worse on daily basis. But 
the silence of the gods is what baffles me. But, oh no. Hmm? What do you think we should do? If you are my brother, if I tell you I have a suggestion, I should be lying to you. I don't have a suggestion. But, um, let us go to my heart and talk. Yeah, at the front. My sister, did you see what that arrogant prince did to one Neka yesterday? That boy has gradually turned to a wild beast. One Neka cost it on herself. What did you just say? You heard me. Why did she have to look him in the face? No, if we where it's forbidden. Forbidden, you see? Forbidden by him. It's Prince Iken and now a masquerade that women have to tremble on the sight of him. Hmm? Even the king. The father will never give such others. I wonder what he thinks he is anyways. Oh, he's the prince of the great Umeru kingdom. A strong and fearless warrior who battles spirits and human beings alike with his bare hands and emerges victorious. That's who he is. And you forgot to add the god. Isioma, I wonder your obsession with this prince. You seem to like me a lot, don't you? Oh, he's a fearless warrior. Handsome. Huge and above all, he's a prince of our kingdom. Tell me, who doesn't like him? I, and I know many other maidens will say the same. Oh, please stop that, princess. You, which I know, will do anything possible to become his bride. His pride or his perpetual slave. I would rather remain single than marry a man who has no regard for human beings, let alone women. <laughs> well, I, Isioma, would rather become a slave if that will make me the queen of this kingdom. Isioma, you're sick in the head. Uh. You're back. I've been waiting for you for so long. Eh? Obina, Obim. Well, I know you'll be tired by now. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. I'll just sit here and wait for you. Thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate it. I enjoyed it. That is how my pangwa is always sweet. So you promise to get me another one? I promise. I'll get you another one. 
good day, my prince. Let me do it, my stop friend. it now. What, what was that? Oh! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Ah! Stop! 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 And why would you want to drag the name of this royal family in the mud? Don't you realize you're a princess? And what has that got to do with what you've just done? Everything! Everyone in this palace can decide to condone your childishness, but I will not. You are the one being childish here. Why would you beat up a man? An innocent man that did nothing to you. Why would you do that? Are you not ashamed, all man? Have you lost all sense of shame? How could you stand by the roadside? Laughing and chatting away with a, a common tramway seller to the glaring eyes of the public. And you're not ashamed about it, right? Ashamed? Why should I be ashamed? Why would I be ashamed? A man gave me a fresh palm wine. In his kindness, I went to thank him for what he has done. And you're saying I should be ashamed? Why? Why? This pathetic. So you now go about begging people for things in this oh, kingdom? No, oh. This is the height of it all, man. You need help. You obviously need help, Ikena. Father just recovered from his sickness. And this is the first issue you would want him to handle? You need to change. You need change! Ikena, you have to change! I don't think so. Oh, I do not blame you one bit. It is father I blame for this. But not to worry. All this was something. Father, father. Oh, my princess. What troubles my father? The <sighs> great king of Umuelu Kingdom. Not in trouble, Sir Father, my princess. I am fine. I don't believe you, Father. You were so lost in thought that you did not even notice my presence. Don't worry yourself. Like I said before, I am fine. If you say so, but I don't believe you. My princess, there is nothing to worry about. I am definitely fine. But if you must know, I am not happy with you. Why, Father? What's wrong have I done? You left the palace this morning without even saying a word. Not even good morning to your father. I'm sorry, father. I'm so, so sorry. I came to your hut, but you were fast asleep. So I decided not to disturb you. That was why I left. I'm sorry. Please. It's all right. I am not hungry. <laughs> so how did it go? Awesome, father. I enjoyed every bit of it. Really? Yes. <laughs> I am all ears. Okay. When I got there. Now you listen to me, you old fool. I don't care what you are or what you are about. But the next time you follow me or show yourself in my dreams again, I will tell you why I'm called with Bulago. Silly. <laughs> My press, you really need to calm down. Eh? Take it easy on yourself. Must he always show me his ugly face? What does he want from me? I, 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 I doubt if he will ever disturb you again after today. You had better not. I don't worry.
with my greetings. Ado Chikidi Fall, what is it? Why are you stalking me? Why can't you leave me alone? But I'm not stalking you. Or is there anything wrong in greeting you? Okay, there is nothing wrong with greeting me. Are you done? <sighs> Obinda, I love you. Why don't you just love me back? Oh, Dochi, I can't love you back because I don't feel anything for you. There is no connection. You should get it straight in your head. Obinda, it's not fair. Life itself is not fair. You know, why don't you feel anything for me? Why? Is it that I'm not beautiful enough for you? Odochi, you are a very beautiful maiden. I cannot deny that. But definitely not for me. Because I don't feel anything for you. Please, I am very sorry. Then I won't let you be. Hey, hey, Nekwenanya. Is it now by force? Are you forcing me to love you? There is nothing wrong in doing that. <laughs> Mama Mekwa. Please, as you can see, I'm very busy with my trap. Whether you like it or not, I will not leave you, I will not leave you alone in this kingdom. I am not letting you be for anything. No, I'll call you Lin. Obinda! Obinda, you're walking out on me. Can you bat your How dare you serve me cold food? I'm sorry, my prince. But you were the one that asked me to keep the food in your heart when it was still hot. Now talk back at me? No, my prince, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your generation and your miserable family. You know, what have you done? What is wrong with you? Of it. But you always do this. Oh, Lama, what is your problem this time? What do you gain in bullying people around you? What's your problem? And what interest of yours is it how I choose to treat my subjects? It concerns me because they are our people. You're supposed to protect them and not to maltreat them. I go to war every day to protect them. Yes. You go to war every day to protect them from external attacks. Then you come back and kill them internally. You can know this is not what the people expect. From their future king. And who cares what they think? It is very obvious. It is very obvious that you go to war with other kingdoms, not to protect your people, but to show how powerful you are. You, 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 you go to war to feed your ego. Enough! How cruel can you be? How cruel can you be to your own people? Is it not about time you changed? Is it not? A prince that does not care about the feeling and the welfare of his people is not worthy to be called a prince. Let go! If you weren't my sister, I would crush every single bone in your body this minute. You will not do me anything, Ikena. I will continue to tell you the truth until you change. Stop treating people badly. You are not a monster. <gasps> <laughs> you have not said anything yet. Uh, who is making my beautiful princess angry this hot afternoon? Alamma, what is it? Father, mother, you have to warn your son. The way he maltreats people around him is becoming so alarming and I don't like it. What has it done again this time around? A maiden served him food this afternoon. He asked the maiden to keep the food in his pot. Father, can you imagine that he slapped the same maiden for serving him cold food? He even, he even smashed the food on her face. And when I, con 
confronted him, he said he would break me. Can you imagine? Olamma, are you done? So you had the guts to belittle your brother, the prince, before his subjects. And you still come here to report him. Let me tell you if you don't know. Ikenna is the prince. And the way he chooses to treat his subjects is none of your concern. Mother, what are you talking Shut about? Shut up! And let me tell you for the last time. Don't get on his way next time. Because you'll be responsible for whatever thing he does. Oh, that is enough, Lolo. I think you're missing the whole point here. Igwe, the point is that all of my your daughter here is undermining the prince's authority before his subject. And she thinks it's nothing. That is not the point. The point actually is that your son is gradually turning into a monster and you think everything is okay. Are you not seeing it every day? The way it treats people like rag in this kingdom. Are you not seeing it? Now, what kind of a king do you think you would become when he finally succeeds me? Wait, but... Oh, no buts! No buts, Lolo! Do you think this kingdom would be this peaceful and successful if I or other kings before me treat the people the way he's treating them? Come to think of it. How long do you think the people will condone the madness from the prince before some kingdoms begin to clamor for autonomy? Warn your son. Warn your son before it is too late. But Igwe, honestly, you're taking this whole thing too far. My son I am done with you. What nonsense. Honestly, I don't understand this. Father, why is mother always doing this? Why does she support Ikena when it's very obvious that he is wrong? I wish I know. But don't mind your mother. Huh. Olama, please go and get me the head guard. This is where you are and I've been looking for you. Enough already. Stop crying, okay? Stop. My princess, why are we being maltreated? <laughs> it's okay. I will make sure this whole thing stops. It will stop. My okay? princess, this is not the first. And this is not the second. And it certainly won't be the last. Why are we being treated? To serve in the palace now seems like a crime. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Then why are we being maltreated? <laughs> like Osu, outcast in our own kingdom by the same person that is meant to protect us. It's okay, I understand how you feel. <laughs> but I'm telling you now that you're not an outcast. <laughs> you are not and you will never be. <laughs> I am not happy. <laughs> I am not happy the way the prince has been maltreating everyone around me. <laughs> and I promise you that it will stop. I put a stop to it, okay? Enough already, stop crying. I promise you, <laughs> I'll give you some days off. You will go home and take care of yourself. You can return whenever you want. Thank you, my princess. You're so kind. <laughs> now, I... You need to promise me. I, I don't want this to go beyond this palace. I don't want any other ear to hear of it. Will you promise me that? My princess, I'll do anything for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> then you tell me when you're ready to go. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, fine, let's go. Let's go. I can't leave you here. Let's talk to you. Don't worry. But seriously, Chita, hmm. I wonder why Odochi will not let me. She now follows me around like a lost spirit. And it's beginning to annoy me. Oh, you think this is funny, huh? <laughs> you made it sound funny. You say she's following you around like a lost spirit. And you expect me not to laugh. <laughs> but that's what it seems like. The girl is stalking me and I don't like it. Seriously, Obi, now. I think you should give her a chance. Odochi is a very beautiful maiden mm. and from a very wealthy home. So many men will die to have her. 
but she prefers you. It is obvious she loves you. But I don't love her. Let her choose from one of those men who would die to have her. And maybe save a life. Upina, why are you being this difficult? I wouldn't let that maiden slip off my hands if I were you. Mm. But you're not me. So end of discussion. I think you are sick in the head. And I'm surprised you're just noticing. <laughs> you just mm, this, this sour orange, I sounded like how sour. And in saying that, you take delight in hurting your people. I have not said any such, Father. So why do you keep attacking the people you are supposed to protect? Just to earn my respect. It's that simple. So respect or fear. Father, I need to be respected by my subjects. And in doing so, I need to instill fear in them. That way they won't defy me and keep seeing me as a threat. A threat? Are you supposed to be a threat to your people or an assurance? Listen, have you ever seen anybody disrespect me because I am nice to them? Ikeno, what are you gradually turning into? That is the way you have chosen to live your life. Yes, you may be my father, but our ways are way, way different. Oh, would you shut up, Ikena? Ikena, how dare you talk to me in that manner? Now listen. I would be a failed king if I am not able to groom you for this position and the task ahead. Are you not aware of that? Are you saying I'm not ready yet? Physically, you may be ready. Mentally and otherwise, you are not ready. You are a long way off. Hey, can I listen? The people of Umwelulu Kingdom are very nice people. And they deserve to be treated nicely. Your cruelty on my people is becoming alarming. And it has to stop forthwith. Else, you will force me to take a decision that you and I will regret for the rest of our lives. I don't know why you keep taking sides with these people. Against your child, your son and heir to the throne. I am done with you. Get out of my palace. Get out! Why would father always do this? Why does he always find fault in everything I do? This has to stop. Else. Else. What is the good news, mother? I know you will be eager to hear this. You know DJ, don't you? The one with the biggest ban in this village. Who doesn't know him? He's very popular. What about him? Oh, he is coming to ask for your hand in marriage. Is that the good news? Yes. He said he likes you and that he Ma cannot... Mother, please, enough already. Is that the good news? Please, I am not interested. Why? DG is one of the wealthiest men in this kingdom. And I'm supposed to crawl at his feet because he's wealthy? Is that his mother? When I don't even love him. Keep quiet, Olamma. Why are you rejecting all your suitors? What do you know about love? Enough to reject DG. And as for my suitors, none of them appeals to my heart. Mother, when I see my husband, I will recognize him. Enough of all this already. Enough. What in the God's name is wrong with you? Don't you want to get married? Your father is really spoiling you. And I cannot take this. What have I done wrong? I mean, I don't love him. Can you but you may even in my goodness begets lushing from the top. You're not looking bright at all. What troubles the Lola of Umwelulu Kingdom? 
Who dares to incense you? Is it not your daughter? The princess? What did she do? Igwe, her excesses are becoming unbearable. And I can no longer tolerate that. Lizzie, calm down, bro. Calm down and tell me exactly what the problem is. Igwe, can you imagine? I told her of Digi's visit and she... How faced the Igwe? He lost consciousness, but he will be fine. This one is different though. How do you mean Esetipia? Is he not going to be all right today? His body is cold and his spirit weak. But he will be fine. Definitely not today. It will take some days for him to recover fully. Then do something. Igwe cannot be in such situation for days. With little or no help to resuscitate him faster, please. What the king is suffering from is not a mere sickness. It will take some days. But it will be fine. Take. Lolo. Mix the substance with water. Sprinkle it on him, morning and evening, it will aid his recovery. Is that all? That is all, but I must warn, do not use or try any other thing on him. I must take my leave. Thank you, Ezidida. My daughter, let's go and see your father. What is the situation, is it? The king will be fine soon. Have the gods said anything yet? Because we cannot help but wonder why the sudden reoccurrence of this strange ailment without answers. I suggest you all go home and rest. Uh, uh, but there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do for the king now. Uh, uh, but is it and that uh, is uh, all uh, for now. In that case, I just go and see. Let's go. 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 let us go why would be the king be suffering from such a strange ailment? I'm as confused as you are, my sister. I even heard that this lady said that the gods are silent on this. Well, my father will be silent. Now tell me, why would the gods be silent on such a serious issue as this? Or do they want him dead? You go and have your back. He's such a good king. Yes. Hmm. And this kingdom cannot afford to lose him now. No? You're absolutely right. Hmm? Hey, I know that Prince Ike now will be happy to see the king dead. Hmm. Shut up, Michu. Who would say such a thing? Go on, shh. Michu, go on. Isn't it obvious? I know that he wants to be the king sooner than later. This Yoma, be mindful of what you say. Hmm. Remember that the trees 
the wind, and even the land you are standing have ears. Such a bone, more. If they like, let them have nose, mouth, ticket okay to sit and listen, or even hands. Me, I don't care. Since you've chosen to be easy on, I've said my own. I don't know what's your problem. Anytime I say one thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you are thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I begin to wonder the reason behind our ego's strange sickness. It seems to be suffering from the same thing every time. And what baffled me so much is that the gods has remained silent over his sickness. Hmm. It is a cause for great concern. But I think the reason may not be far-fetched. What do you mean? Igwe may have offended the gods. Ike <sighs> hmm? I disagree with you. The Igwe that I know has led this community with pride, yes. dignity and humility. I doubt if you might have done anything to offend the girls. But uh, you, and, you and I also know that Enulu is not the kind of girls that we punish the Igwe for so long before declaring him unfit for the truth. Hmm. You are right there, she. But what do you think? Hmm. I think Ezedibia knows something about this sickness and he has refused to tell us. If that is the case, then we'll force him to talk. Why are you talking like this? You mean we should force Ezedibia to come? Who are we to force him to talk? We cannot force him. We need the combined force of Odo to make him talk. That is a point. Mm -hmm. That is a point. Thank you. My queen, will you depart from here immediately? Okay, now, what is the meaning of this nonsense? It depends on what you're referring to as nonsense. And, and let me let me put this straight, but I do not like what you just did now. Will you shut up? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Your father did way seriously ill. And all you care about is to sleep with every lady that comes your way. You should be ashamed of yourself. What has suddenly come over you, mother? Why this whole drama? Should I kill myself because my father is ill? Listen to me, that man has lived his life and it's about time I'm left to live mine at my own terms. Ikenna, what has come over you? What do you think the elders would have said if they had seen you with that maiden? Why your father is still battling with his life? But you taught me to not bother or leave my life based on other people's opinion. Oh yes, I did. But not in a situation like this. You can now you should show your father some love. He deserves it. Mother, I am tired this morning. Please, I don't have time for your nagging. Good morning, Nabazi Anadi. are you walking out on me? Why would you be tired? When you were busy all through the night. <sighs> no problem. It is no longer news that our king, Igwe Yeligoba, 
is passing through a strange headache. And we will not just sit, fold our hands and watch without doing anything. Oh no, you are very correct. Very, very correct. Our king is a great king. And losing him, honestly, will bring a great loss to our kingdom. Pathetic. Oh. Eh, Dibia has been silent all this while. And his silence is making all these things very, very complicated. Now, the question is, what do we do? Can I hear it? I am all that. I am all that. I think Ezedibia knows something and he does not want to say it. I believe he's hiding the truth from us. Like, uh, this allegation you are laying against the Ezedibia, don't forget that the man who makes the coffin is not responsible for death. Ezedibia is a messenger of the gods. He is not the gods. And remember, he has maintained that the gods are yet to speak. <laughs> that is because he's taking us for fools. Huh? What, what is it? What, what is the problem? The uh, Igwe is awake. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. You know, you know, ask me to call you no and the Niche. Thanks because I met you always. Niche, fool! 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 The gods. Are wise. Yeah. Honestly. But it goes with praise. It's okay. Uh, you can go. We are coming right behind you. Yes. Yes. You have larger ears than mine. <laughs> you heard it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Let us go. We need, we, we need to. <laughs> I must say I am overwhelmed by the love I have received from my people so far. Though I am not fully strong yet, but I must be sincere with you that I am fired up the more to shake off this ailment so that I will be alive and save you the more. I have to stand. Because this is a very, very special moment. I am so happy and I am thankful to the gods immensely. I am thankful to the gods, not just because you are our king, but because you are someone I regard as my personal friend as well. But I have this to say. We shouldn't be carried away by side attractions. Or celebration. This particular element that our king just survived from has been persistent and we, 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 we have to look into it properly. We have to search for a solution. We, I'm talking about lasting solution uh, because uh, failing to do that might be disastrous. It might result something more costly than what we are facing. You are right, Dominic. Yes. I thank you, Ndichi. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ono. It seems you read my mind. This was the focal point of our discussion yesterday, before one of the guards came to announce to us that you have woken. Yeah. Your Majesty. The source of this ailment is confusing and we need to find a solution to it as soon as possible. You are right, you are right, you are right. In this year, once again I greet you all. I must thank you all for your concern. But I must say that I am as confused as all of you. It is strange. It is strange for the king of Umwelu kingdom to go through this and the gods choose to remain silent. Uh, the gods has not remained silent. I think I said Dibia knows something and it's time we force him to speak. I don't think Eze Dibia has a reason to hide anything from us or from me personally. 
In that case, it's good. Let us summon him and hear from him. Exactly. But Nietzsche. Yes. I have done that already. Uh. I've sent a guard to call him. Oh. Here he comes. You're called, Igwe. Yes, great is the Dibia. I must thank you first of all for the great role you played in my recovery. But above all, I want to know the reason for this strange ailment. Has the God said anything yet? No, not yet. Why? For how long would I wait for answers? How do they want me to die before they speak? Do not blaspheme, Igwe Helioba. The gods might be silent, but most times, the silence is for a good cause. And a few other times, it may be for no good reason, if I understand you well. Ah. Isaac, did you? This particular ailment that our king just survived from has been persistent. And we, 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 we need to we, we, need, we need to seek for solution. We are talking about a lasting solution. Because it would be abnormal if one goes searching for something in the midst of plenty and comes out with nothing. Mm. Very, very abnormal. Sure. So we have to get to the gods and feed us back. We want a lasting solution and quickly too. <laughs> Is it the gods have been speaking on everything that has been happening in this kingdom. Yes, of course. Except that of the illness of our Igwe. And I begin to wonder why. Have the girls turned their back on our Igwe? Or oh. you, as a DBA, have been stingy with the information? Iche, Erika. Be mindful of what you say. In order not to attract a heavy spiritual knock on your head. Eh? <sighs> uh, Ezedibia, we are very sorry if we have spoken out of tone. But the truth is, we, we want answers. We need solutions. Yes. Yes. Igwe, Igwe, I suggest we seek solution somewhere else. Hmm? Yeah, no, uh, you, are, you, are, you are right. The wisdom of the gods can never be understood by mere mortals like you. When a man runs ahead of his chi, he ends up running an endless race. Wait. Wait for the gods. Your Highness. This meeting is over. Greetings, beautiful maiden of Ogun Kingdom. Thank you, Wichita, but I don't think I'm beautiful. Of course you are beautiful, if not the most beautiful maiden of this kingdom. Then why is your friend avoiding me? 
Why is he always running away from me like a plague? Why does he hate me so much? Dochi, you are not a plague. And Obina doesn't hate you either. The problem is, he feels he doesn't need a woman around him right now. But he does. Listen, he might not admit to it, but that's the fact. Ichita, I love Obina so much, and I feel I'm the ideal woman for him. I just don't know why he's not seeing all of that. I think you love him so much. If that is a question, then the answer is yes. Ichita, I love Obina so much that I can't even go a single moment without thinking about him. All I'm asking is just an opportunity for me to prove my love for him. Hmm. But that will be hard. Then you have to help me. How? Talk to him. Discuss me with him. Say some nice things about me. You know, try to convince him to give me a chance. Please, just do whatever you can. Hmm. It is rare for a maiden to profess her love for a man. Well, I'll see what I'll do about it, but I'm not promising you yet. If you know Obina, you know how difficult he can be. Shita, please, you have to help me. I am counting on you, please. I'll try. I'll be on my way now. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Obina, what are you still doing in there? It's almost sunset. I am coming. That's all I keep hearing. We are late already. <laughs> Obina, I'm ready. Let's go. Why do you like keep people waiting? A moment ago, you were complaining about being late. And now that I'm here, you choose to nag like a woman. Oh, so now I'm nagging like a woman, the choir? That's all you could say. Mba, I'm sorry. You're not nagging like a woman. Please, let's go. You can tell that to the God. See you at Umoma Kingdom. Yeah, are we quarreling? I'm right behind you. All the neighboring kingdom and the entourage. It's that all. What about Ojiko? The man that beats the drum with his tongue. Huh? The famous beautiful the dancers. And yes. the indomitable warriors of Ukwil. They um, will all be there. And mostly, the beautiful maiden of Umoma Kingdom will be there. <laughs> See, I can't wait to be there. <laughs> you know, perhaps you should consider taking a bride from them. Yes, but you better take your eyes off them. Because Udochi is already waiting in the wings. What in the name of the gods is that supposed to mean? Um, the meaning is that you have kept that maiden in Delma for a very long time now. She loves you so much. But I don't love her. Besides, if she's in confusion, then she's responsible for it. What do you mean? Any man in his right senses cannot reject such a beautiful gesture from, from the most beautiful maiden in the kingdom. Enough of your stupidity, Cheetah. Look, don't get me angry this afternoon. All right, all right. I won't say anything again. Can we? You better hurry up before the time you talk about it. I am sorry I could not help you in your farm this morning. I was really tired after yesterday's festival. I understand. Talking about Mama's festival yesterday. Obina, mm -hmm. did you notice all those beautiful maidens around? Especially the princess of Umuelulu. She looks like a goddess. <laughs> you know, you have always lost after beautiful maidens. But I can't help but wonder why they seem not to like you. That makes both of us. I lost after them. None seems to like me. They lost after you. But you don't seem to like any. 
I wonder if you're confused or something. What is that supposed to mean? Listen up, you know. I am your friend. I cannot deceive you. Udochi, she is the best amongst all. You need to give her a chance. Ah, I saw that coming. So, Chita, you now use every little opportunity to talk about Odochi. She paid you to do this, right? Obinat, stop being ridiculous. How can I be paid for me to talk to my friend? Then what do you have with her? Nothing. Nothing. See, Obinat, you are missing the point here. The point is that I am sick and tired of this Odochi talk every day. Please stop disturbing me with it. Ready for? Look, I have some dry meat in the house. Let me go in and bring it for us. Except you'd rather talk about Odochi. Odo what? Because Jay was telling you, Kaita. And what? I thought Odochi was your priority. Keep Odo aside, please. Yeah, go and get the meat. Please hurry up. My princess, I, I don't know if I am wrong. I stand to be corrected. I have noticed that you have been very, very cheerful lately. <laughs> Father, I have always been cheerful. I, I know, but this one is different. You are my daughter, I know you very well. I would have told you if it were not so. And if my memory still serves me well, I think these smiles all started from the Itogbo festival of Amoma Kingdom. So tell me, what is the secret behind it? Well, Father, you're not wrong at all. I thought as much. <laughs> I was happy at the festival, but you are the main reason for my happiness. Father, you don't know how, how devastated I was watching you lying on your sick bed, almost lifeless. Father, it hurt me so badly. I love you so much, Father, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Olama, I love you too. You just know how to calm my spirit. Your words make me stronger by the day. Indeed, you are a blessing to me. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, Father. And please, do not be sick again. I will never be sick again, I promise. <laughs> I love you, Father. <laughs> I love you so much. Adako, oh, now you go. Yes, my yes, princess. Princess. Does any of you know anything about that man at Amma Festival? I mean, his kingdom, his name, or anything? Which particular young man are you referring to, my princess? The one that was dancing behind us. Do you know anything about him? My princess, you mean the same one we saw on our way back that was helping an old woman? Exactly. He is the one. Do you know anything about him, please? I'm sorry, my princess. I haven't seen him before, except that day. Same here, my princess. You may go back to your duties. Okay, my princess. 